There's a new student apartment building going up near the Youngstown State University campus, and today the city's planning commission approved eliminating 87% of the parking spaces. 27 First News anchor Stan Boney joins us live in the studio with how the decision was made. That's new at 6. Well, an official with Youngstown State today told the Youngstown Planning Commission that the university will provide the necessary parking for the students who will eventually live at the new campus loft apartments. This afternoon, demolition crews were clearing the land at the corner of Wick and Rayan Avenues where the campus loft apartments will be built. The apartments will have 200 beds and was originally scheduled to have 95 parking spaces, but then recently, developers asked the Planning Commission to reduce the number of parking spots to 12. So the university offered the use of the Wick Avenue parking deck and lots near the MBR to allow for students living in the apartments. The reduction also concerned officials of two nearby churches and the main branch of the library, concerns that those renting the apartments would use their lots. YSU's Danny O'Connell says that's when the university again offered to help. We'll actually be bringing in enforcement agents at 5 in the morning and anyone who uh, parks in a closed lot on campus, that's a uh, $100 fine. I wish it would have been otherwise. I think um, having on-site parking would be a nice perk for those apartment dwellers. I remember being in college myself. Um, so we'll just have to see how it works. That was Public Library Director Amy Faferik, and she says there was a meeting where university officials offered to enforce people parking illegally, but she says the library never agreed to it and will likely use its own security. Now, the Planning Commission did eventually vote 7-0 to allow for the reduction of parking spaces at the campus lofts.